Developers of Skyline have decided to release a brand new Windows emulator for Android. After the end of Skyline, developers started to work upon a new emulator and they soon updated by throwing some new footages of a few games as well as some of the test footages. Oh, and by the way, this emulator will be named as Cassia. A pretty cool name if you ask me. It will only be able to run a few low-end PC titles in the beginning, probably not those AAA title games that you'd normally expect. Oh, and if you were wondering about the gameplay here on the screen, it's running upon Box 64. Video on that will be coming in the future. Hence, this video is a detailed guide on this topic and to guide you through the progress of Cassia, the Windows emulator so far. The screenshot on your screen is some kind of rendering test upon the emulator. Talking about its support, yes, it will be supporting 64-bit, but in the future, not for the current usage. Similar to emulator like Exagare, FaxMU and Box64 Droid. And yes, it will be based upon Vine. Now, if you don't know what the hell does that mean, it basically means a free and open source compatibility layer that aims to allow application software uh, slash computer games for Microsoft Windows to run on a Unix-like operating system. I hope you get the point. Now, these are the possible logos for the emulator. You can share your own suggestions regarding which logo to use on the Discord server. And the best part is that this emulator would be releasing within a week or so. How do I know? Well, this was said by one of the developer himself or herself, I don't know. It isn't confirmed yet, although it is going to be 32-bit for now. So just stay tuned here. I'll let you know as soon as this thing gets released. I'll do everything from its setup to optimization to compatibility with devices. And I do think that it will work upon your low-end devices as well. Since the game that this emulator will support in the beginning won't be that hardware demanding, I guess. Regarding Cassia's current testing, it is said that it's being tested upon a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 hardware, which makes one thing clear that for now it is running upon the latest Android version builds for now. The Android 12 and 13 based systems, just like the Exagare emulator. So these were some of the updates that I gathered. Like this video and subscribe my channel to support my work and take care.